In this video, we will discuss one of the four value dimensions identifying differences in cultures developed by Geert Hofstede. Power distance is the extent to which the less powerful organization members accept that power is distributed unequally. We will discuss power distance in terms of and using examples from the movie Mean Girls. Members of high power distance societies accept hierarchy and power inequality as appropriate and beneficial. They value obedience, loyalty, and deference, as well as have great respect for authority and the elderly, and accept these values as necessary parts of society. In these societies, there are defined roles and superiors take precedence over others. People in these cultures are generally afraid of expressing one's thoughts, opinions, and emotions in front of superiors. This type of power distance can be found in Latin American, Asian, and African cultures. This is your lunch. Okay, now I put a dollar in there so you can buy some milk. You can ask one of the big kids where to do that. Do you remember your phone number? I wrote it down for you just in case. Put it in your pocket, I don't want you to lose it. Okay, you ready? I think so. It's Katie's big day. I guess it's natural for parents to cry on their kid's first day of school, but you know, this usually happens when the kid is five. I'm 16 and until today, I was homeschooled. I know what you're thinking. Homeschooled kids are freaks. In this clip, we see Katie's worried parents sending her off to school on her first day. They give her lots of instructions to follow and obey, making this clip a great example of a high power distance relationship. Low power distance societies do not accept hierarchy and power inequality. These societies minimize social and class inequalities and aim to reduce hierarchical structures. They value equality, democracy, and participative decision-making, causing them to tend toward ethnocentrism. Ethnocentrism occurs when a society or group judges another society or group relative to their own culture, causing a misunderstanding. Members of these societies also feel free to question and or challenge authority. These low-power distance cultures can be found in America, Australia, Northwestern Europe, and South Africa. I'm home! Hey, Kylie. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. How are my best girlfriends? My name is George. This is Katie. Hello, sweetheart. Hi. Welcome to our home. I just want you to know, if you need anything, don't be shy, okay? There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. <laughs> right, Regina? Please stop talking. Okay. I'm gonna make you girls a hump day treat. In this clip, we see Regina George's mom trying to welcome her daughter's friends by being a cool mom and making herself more equal with the girls. This clip shows Katie trying to navigate a new environment different than what she is typically used to. The first day of school was a blur. A stressful, surreal blur. I got in trouble for the most random things. Where are you going? Oh, I, I have to go to the bathroom. You need the lavatory pass. Okay, can I have the lavatory pass? <laughs> nice try, have a seat. <laughs> I had never lived in a world where adults didn't trust me, where they were always yelling at me. Don't read ahead. No green pen. No food in class. In this clip, you can see that Katie is used to a low power distance where adults trust and respect her. But her first day at school catches her off guard because teachers expect more respect and authority than she is used to. Here are a few tips and tricks for preventing power distance conflict. When you are working with people from or going to a culture with high power distance, make sure that you are communicating intention, that you give clear and precise instructions, and that you show respect to people who have a higher status than you. When you are working with people from or going to a culture with low power distance, make sure that you do not expect to be treated with the usual respect you may be used to. Make sure that you involve others in decision making and that you learn to speak up. As you can see, power distance is a very influential aspect of communication. Hopefully, with the information and examples presented in this video, you can apply these concepts to your life and navigate intercultural communication and conflicts.